This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favourite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. There's a few things that I really like about the Quad Cortex right now. One of them is an issue that I sort of have with the Kemper, which is that you spend sort of 1600-ish pounds, 1400, 1600, and there's definitely an expectation that you need to then spend further money on top of that to buy kind of profile packs and all this sort of stuff. So out of the box, you're, you're kind of not necessarily all set to go, like a bunch of people will buy Embrit profiles and Tone Junkie and all that. Um, so I think that's part of what I started to not like so much about the Kemper is that you need this kind of third party involvement. Um, with the Quad Cortex at the moment there are no official kind of third party sellers or anything and Neural aren't supporting that kind of paid model at the moment which I think certainly for the end user is a good place to be right now. Um, and there's a part of the reason that I think you don't see, you know, too much content from these folks, you know, pushing the quad cortex as being the next best thing because there's no clear way for them to monetize it. So I think that's quite a cool thing at the moment. So the people that are making presets for the quad cortex and so on are people that are genuinely interested in the thing and are genuinely using it um, in the cloud. There is quite a lot of stuff that goes up there. Um, so in theory, that's possibly a good thing. Now, I think there will be people that do want some third party involvement as well. So it could also be a, a negative. But the other really cool thing that I'd like to see other modelers doing is detaching the looper from the grid. We got that in the quad cortex where the looper kind of exists outside. You can decouple it from the grid. I'll show you how you can do that in the video later on. But I think it's really useful to have a looper which is just listening to the main outputs or you can place it in the grid if you want it's just really clever and the last thing that I really like about it is with minimal tweaking you can get really good tones and that's not always the case with all modelers um, so those are three things that I think the Quad Cortex really has going for it at the moment uh, this preset is called the best things in life if you want to try it uh, that was what I was using in the intro leave a comment below and I'll upload it to the cloud Cheers. Okay, I wanted to build a preset from scratch today um, and incorporate some of the things that are a little bit unique or what I think are the best parts of the Quad Cortex. So uh, we're going to go in, we're going to start off with, um, let's go for something Vox-ish. And so we're going to be looking for UK Top Boost, I guess. And uh, I'm going to first of all take the volume down a bit, I think and then choose a cab and cab wise we'll go for this one uh this cab block i've said a few times before i think is uh the best kind of user interface on a modeler so far um right 
No. Uh, let's stick um, the modulated reverb on here. Take this mixed way down. Take the decay up a bit. Right, now here's something that I've not actually used before and I think it's going to be in pitch, the mini voicer. So this is a bit of a unique thing, but essentially what is it? It's like two uh, voices, it's a harmonizer, right? Um, so we're turn, quantize, leave that off. Uh, voice one active, voice two active, voice one interval. Let's go with seventh and voice two something like a tenth maybe right and we can pan these if we put them post the amp actually then we can pan them properly because the amp will collapse them to mono won't it? and we can give it a key right so let's play in D major today the root D and D major Oh wait, it's an actual fifth, isn't it? It's not done by five. Right, so uh, we want a fifth and a tenth, I think. Two, full. Kind of glitchy but kind of cool as well. So uh, that's one of the features that I've not really used yet. Uh, um, but in theory, we could even control the pitch per snapshot and stuff, couldn't we? Because we can change our route. Um, so you could, if you wanted to, hold this in and then. Um, on different scenes, so let me put on maybe on stomps. No, we can't do it with stomps, can we? Uh, we just exit this mode and go into scene mode. Um, this scene here, if I have this go to uh, F major instead, D E F, and we could switch between uh, essentially, well, or you could just do the minor tonality anyway but now this will be D minor and this will be D major let's just try this glissando thing a bit more I think I prefer that a little bit lower down. Right, anyway, so that's one aspect that I think is pretty cool. The other one that is super, super cool is the looper. We can kind of put this anywhere and disconnect it from the grid. Actually, let, let me just move this down to here. Uh, and then if we, let's go into scene mode still. No, we want to be in stomp mode really, don't we? Because I want to be able to use the looper. So, That'll be E. So if we disconnect it from the grid, that's not what I want. Parameters is what we want. Three, we want it to be on the output. So then we can do cool loopy stuff. 
and it doesn't even have to be connected to anything as far as I know. So now we're on the looper. It's not even on a, a path that's connected to anything. That's a really, really cool feature that really only Neural have cracked the looper, which is not actually uh, connected to the grid. You can have it wherever you like. It's really cool. Um, let's stick um, some funky delays on. Um, if we put a tape delay down here, and I want it to join here and then back after that we could put a pitch on this I imagine pitch shifter or pitch whammy put the whammy on it uh, so now I'm going to assign this to expression pedal assign expression pedal expression pedal 1 connect and we want the heel pitch to be 50 if I can get it or not 50 and 75 is that right? I think let's try that expression pedal 1 you can see what it's going from. It's going from zero to an octave, and then uh, heel pitch one, toe pitch one, heel pitch two. We'll also assign this, and the min heel pitch one. Minimum fifty and the maximum we want it to go up seven semis, which would be sixty five. Done. Right, so. Last thing I'll do is uh, a drive pedal here. Um, where are you? Overdrive, guitar, and we'll go with the OD1. Now, I think the OD1 is really only included in some boss um, uh, modelers and the quad cortex, which is pretty cool. It's a really okay, right, and then uh, so our pitch is there, isn't it? Mini voicer, looper, tape delay, whammy. Um, so we could have a bit of fun with that. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. What are your favourite features of the quad cortex? I do think there's a lot of stuff in here which sounds really good. Let me know if you want me to drop this into the cloud. This is what I was using in the introduction there. 
um, the lead tone would have been essentially without these on. But yeah, I'll chuck that up into the cloud if you want it. But I think having that looper disconnected from the grid is probably one of my favourite features about the Quad Cortex altogether. I'll catch you in another video soon. Cheers for now.